Okay. We've been here before. The ProLion DL360P Gen 8. Configure and install or perform maintenance. The, uh, we're, not, we're basically working with our drives now. So we're going to watch these change as we go. We're going to perform some maintenance on these puppies. They're Western Digital 4 terabyte uh, Reds NAS drives. So that matters to some people, I'm sure. Here's this. So we're going to go into the storage section. And this is where we're going to actually get into the drives. So here we are. We have our smart array. Okay, so we are in our HP Enterprise Smart Array P420i controller. What does all that mean? It means we're basically at ground zero. We have no logical devices going. We have all four physical devices being recognized, but none of those physical devices being assigned. So what we're going to do is assign these devices to their designated tasks for what we're going to be building out. Um, what we're going to build out is an operating system and then a storage um, area. So, let's take a look at this. Let's go to, here we go, unassigned drives. I like this, this is easy, this is nice. So the first drive, bay one, bay one, this, I hope that's bay one, does it say? Yeah, right here, little number one. All right, good. So bay one is going to be my operating system. So when I install Ubuntu on the next video or whatever, uh, I'm gonna put it on this drive on bay one. So let's click on that. Let's go down here, we have some options. I'm gonna create an array from one drive. Let's look real quick if we created array from all the drives. Let's look at all the options. Let's create an array. So we have RAID 0, RAID 1 plus 0, RAID 5, and RAID 6. So I would build a RAID out, a RAID 5 or a RAID 6. Um, RAID 5 stripes it over. Um, so you'd have these are your four drives for your RAID 5. Three of them would keep running, one of them could fail. So any one of these could fail and it would still work. RAID 6, so RAID 6 is built on all four drives. And if, two of them fail, so if these two fail, these two will keep running, they would work fine, I can replace these and then we keep going. So, RAID 6 is a little bit safer, because it allows the second drive to kind of poop out, but you're going to cut down on the amount of space you can store. But once I put one of these drives, once I use this drive right here for my operating system, RAID 5 and RAID 6 goes away, and so I just have RAID 0 and RAID 1, which is kind of, kind of lame, <laughs> but, uh... But we're gonna, you know, I think there might be a solution in the future to, uh, so we're not gonna create any of these drives. I'm not gonna do this build out of all four because I want to, um, let's just say yes. My array's been deleted. Okay, I didn't, didn't know I was starting one. So yeah, we're gonna take this first. We're going to take this first bay, which we talked about, and just build that into our operating system for now. In the future, I'd like to store the operating system on something else. Alright, here we go. We go down here, we're going to take this first drive. We're going to click on Create Array. We only have Array 0. So, I don't know, some of these... Uh, I could probably edit some of these, but I don't know what's what. I mean, if I'm just using the whole thing, I don't know if I, what that means, but whatever. So we'll create logical drive. There we go. Right zero. This is great. So we have our first. Let's see, it's gone. So it was assigned as four. Since I chose to assign one. We go into our arrays, when you go into our logical drive, we have one logical drive. So, four terabytes waiting for something to happen. No backup. So don't mess up. 
Alright, so now let's go down here and let's use two of these drives to create another array. Sex drive one, side two. Alright. And we have array one. So we have array option zero and array one. So array one is just a mirror, so it's just going to take a mirror of each other. Oh look at that, that's cool. If so I set up the first drive and it's got that because it's like uh it has no backup, it looks like it's like I don't know, like a danger drive. We're gonna create the second drive. Here we'll bump this up again, I don't know. Stripe size, make it a little bit bigger, I guess. Um Okay. So we'll create a logical drive here. So what we're doing is building these are four terabytes and they're just mimicking each other, so if this one drives, this one will still work. Um, and it'll continue to function, so we have four terabytes of active storage working for us. Western Digital, NAS Reds. Alright, here we go. Oh, there it is. So, usable space, seven terabytes, local drive two. 3.4 and 3.6. Um, okay. Physical drive, bay 2, bay 3. You can see the activation of my drives. So this one's going to be for our operating system. These two are for our storage. And then this last one, da 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 da. Oh, look at Flash. I think I heard me. Um, is going to be the backup, if I can figure that out. So. Let's finish this. Alright, let's take a look here. Got our, we're still in our Smart Array P420i controller. We have our first logical drive, which is going to be um, for our operating system. RAID 0, very, very bad. Uh, 4 terabytes usable for us. Um, and it's representing, this is representing this little icon, it's representing that drive, and then this is the logical drive, so this is just an assembly, so this logical drive is an assembly of these two physical drives, which is represented by these two, bay 2, bay 3, bay 2, bay 3, and so now that we have all of this information in front of us, um, we're going to take our last drive, because we have one unassigned drive. This one, it's not doing anything. So what I'm trying to do now is take my last unassigned drive and assign it as a backup to one of my arrays that I built, this array right here. So if one of these two drives go down, I'd like this last drive to replace that. Um, let's figure out how to do that. So I'm going to do that in a second.